Start a petition, stop budget cuts and tuition hikes. Appreciate it. You've been following what's been going on? Yeah, I have. Actually, make a page. So you've heard about the... 4% increase thing? Yeah, yeah, just about. They've already laid off, I think, 40 yeah. or 50 staff members. It's so screwed up. The languages departments are just getting... These are challenging economic times. Uh, we are in the process of making sure that we're putting our resources uh, where they will do the most good for our mission, teaching the students, uh, making sure that the faculty is doing its research, getting the best graduate students. And, and uh, I think the campus is doing a good job in some very difficult decisions. It'll take a lot of dialogue. It'll take probably some disagreement. It'll take uh, uh, doing this over a period of time so we make sure that we're performing our mission within the budget constraints as best as we can. Fine. So would, you all, would any of you all like to get a little bit more involved? Um, maybe sign up and put your email. So, you know, sure. next semester we're going to be mobilizing. Um, we're going to be having a rally. We're going to go meet with... Well, I'm out here today um, because I do not agree with the budget cut situation at UT. And I also do not agree with uh, tuition increases that came out in the paper this morning. Uh, the budget cuts concern me because we could reallocate funds from other sources and we are not getting these options out there. And so it just it's really disheartening to know that the professors you know, the lecturers, the TAs who work so hard for the students are the ones that are being cut. And I feel that it's because they're the ones who have really no power within their department to have a say in what happens with the budget situation and, you know, what's happening with our priorities at UT. I thought this was a higher education institution that valued people who teach and people who actually change people's lives. I come from a very low-income family and my little brother is about to graduate high school and he wants to come to UT. And I've been encouraging him to come to UT because it's an amazing institution. It's changed my life. It's changed my perspectives on so many things. And it just really concerns me that he will not be able to afford education here because the tuition is increasing and financial aid is not really, you know, giving us enough to pay for it. And so, you know, where else is he supposed to go? This is a state schools so you know private schools are out of the question definitely for people in my family I'm a first-generation college student and this is like you know a legacy now I, I'm setting up the legacy for my family to get an education and you know with these tuition increases I don't know what that you know I don't know what's gonna happen with that anymore the university is not just cutting human beings it's cutting uh, library budget, it's cutting research budget, it's cutting teaching, it's cutting uh, services, advisory services, it's cutting infotech services, uh, it's, uh, and also finding ways of cutting administration. But without that tuition hike, there's going to be even more severe uh, cuts in programs. The uh, competitor institutions, Berkeley, University of Michigan, University of North Carolina, University of Illinois Champaign-Urbana, uh, and, and so forth, there are right now, I think, 11 public universities that are ranked higher than we are. And they, uh, as we have been building new buildings, and instituting new programs, and hiring good faculty, they've been doing the same. Uh, and in some cases, much, much better because their uh, legislators uh, uh, have uh, supported their institutions much better than, 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 uh, than uh, ours have. So no matter how you match up these institutions, uh, we're really not close to being number one. And the reason that we're not is 20 years of the state increasing our budget 2%, which means effectively a decreasing budget uh, over two decades. There's a perception that we're a wealthy university. Uh, we've got oil money, and that should take care of everything. The money we get from oil revenue is about 6.5% of our budget. It's important, but it, it, it doesn't solve all the, uh, all the issues. The state's actually done pretty well about putting money into higher education, but the way the formula works that distributes it among the campuses uses average costs. Well, we are not an average university. So it, it always takes the 
highest universities and pulls them down. And it rewards growth, not improvement and excellence. Which pretty much means that in two years, we're going to be paying approximately like $1,000 more for tuition. I should hopefully be out by then. Hey, but what about <laughs> your siblings or, you know? <laughs> your little, my little, all right, my kids. If we stop having excellence as our goal, we're going to fall behind. Doesn't mean we get there overnight. Doesn't mean there won't be steps forward and steps backward. But that always ought to be our goal. We ought to be the best at what we do. And we're very close to that. This is a great institution. That does require financial support. It requires that we use the resources we have in the best way that gets the best result. And, and that's what we're doing when we're reallocating resources into our high, highest priorities. If you want to know why Univers the University of Texas is nowhere near the number one public university in this country, look at the legislators. And once you look at the legislators, legislators respond to, I've been told uh, specifically by several legislators, we respond to our constituency. So it's the voters of this state who do not want to have the number one public university in the nation in their state. It's that simple.